Okay, well, thank you very much. And uh, obviously with the federal budget that came out today, uh, we are a little disappointed about the health transfers. That's the number one issue for Manitobans and really, uh, really across the province from all provincial governments is to extend health transfers. That's the number one issue. Uh, there was some positive things uh, in the budget. Uh, we did like obviously the sick leave extending uh, the time period out from 15 to uh, 15 to 26 weeks is a positive. Uh, there is some additional uh, commitments in terms of long-term funding. It probably is in the neighborhoods of uh, somewhere around 90 million dollars or a five-year period for uh, long-term funding like personal care homes. That's a priority for Manitobans. Uh, lots of focus on child care. That's really a focal point for us to making sure working families specifically during the pandemic can uh, can get some additional dollars. It's 30 billion dollars over uh, I guess a five-year period so about six billion dollars. We anticipate it could be upwards of 180 million dollars more in Manitoba. We don't know all the details on that so we're you know need to have more details from Ottawa what that means. Uh, obviously the global piece is reduce uh, parent fees. That kind of matches the approach we've taken where we haven't uh, raised parent fees and we've committed to uh, not raising for another three years. So those are the first takes on it. Uh, there's some more dollars for infrastructure, uh, some green initiatives, so we need some more details to really unpack that, what that really looks like. Um, you know, a little disappointed to that there isn't a long-term plan to get ourselves back into balance as a country. I think it's 354 million that drops to about 150 million, 70 billion in year three. Uh, but there is also some uh, some positive things by extending some of the wage subsidies and the rent subsidies. Uh, we are first the first province to sign on to the rent subsidies for commercial rents. So we're happy to see that extended out. I believe it was until September. So um, kind of uh, you know some positive, but we would have number one from a Manitoba perspective like to see more healthcare dollars come into the province. Uh, through health transfers, that was the absolute number one issue for all provinces. Um, so, you know, that's kind of our take initially. With a budget, sometimes the devil is in the details. So we'll have to see how the details kind of pan out, specifically as it relates to child care uh, issues, because there's obviously a lot of money that will be flowing to the provinces. That could be a very good thing, but we just need to know more of the details from Ottawa what that will look like. So, you want to see.